Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to part 2 of the top 10 most sexualized Pokemon. If you missed part 1, head on over to Player Ruff's channel to check those out because believe me, that's not something you want to miss. Yeah, things got really hot and heavy over there, and I'm sure you guys do not want to miss out on that. What makes you think would be any different over here? All jokes aside though guys, we're obviously going to be breaking down some Pokemon that have a deeper meaning. And Pokemon that are just flat out designed to be something sexual. Why is this even a thing, you might be asking? Good question. Speaking of questions, make sure to let us know what Pokemon you think Game Freak designed with something dirty in mind. You know, like something you look at and just kind of facepalm because it's so obvious. Helicoptering its way into the number 5 spot is none other than the king of dicks itself, Cradilly. Like most things in this list, it really doesn't need an explanation, but it's my mission in life to convince everyone watching this video to see what I see. Yeah, honestly, what was Game Freak thinking? Giving this prehistoric pedo a necklace of floppy cocks. And for what reason? Personally, I think Cradilly is a low-key freak in the sheets. Yeah, I mean, if your Pokemon ever needs someone for an orgy, I know just the Mon. Mr. Steelio Girl over here wouldn't have any problem taking your lady friend to Pound Town. Pound? That's a move, right? Wow, that sounds pretty sexual as well. Maybe we should make a video about sexual Pokemon moves too. Let's save that idea for another time and just get on with this list. Next up on this list is ripped straight from some crazy hentai scene I was watching last night. Malamar just radiates with those creepy vibes, thanks to all its crazy tentacles and its uh, appearance. And to really understand how sexualized Malamar is, we need to go no further than the Pokédex. Its Pokémon X and Y Pokédex entry says that Malamar wields the most compelling hypnotic powers of any Pokémon, and it forces others to do whatever it wants. Just let that sink in. Whatever it wants. And in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire's Pokédex entry says that Malamar lures prey close with hypnotic emotions, then wraps its tentacles around it before finishing it off with digestive fluids. That... Oh my gosh. I, I have no words. I truly have no words for this thing. I mean, just look at it. This thing's ready to find you in a dark alley and dick you down or something. I mean, I wouldn't leave this tentacle mess alone with my drink if my life depended on it. Now, we can't have a list of sexual Pokemon without THE Playboy Bunny on here. I mean, come on. When Pokemon drew up the initial art for Lopunny, they knew what they were getting into. But since they're fucking savages, I doubt they cared. I mean, sex sells, right? Yeah, I mean, Game Freak was kinda wild in putting this Pokemon into the games, but they took it a step further batting its Mega Evolution, which is pretty much a bigger, more fancier Playboy Bunny. And I'm sure we all know that the bigger and the more fancier something is, the more sexualized it is. The next Pokemon on this list was never meant to be sexual, but those dirty Poke fans created this glorious goddess. Of course, we're talking about Gardevoir here. I think in essence, Gardevoir's design isn't really that sexualized, but what puts it so high on this list is the creativity of Pokemon fans. I think the fact that Gardevoir is a humanoid female Pokemon really gives Pokemon fans, in particularly hentai artists, a lot of creativity to come up with some artwork with Gardevoir. And that's all I'm really going to say about this. I think we want to keep this PG. Yeah, man, the internet really did a number on this one. I'd say go look up Rule 34 Gardevoir, but I'm not responsible for anything you see, so shame on you Poke fans, for doing this to such a sweet and innocent Pokemon. And finally on this list, we have not one, but two Pokemon. It's like a glove to a hand, or a sword to a sheath. They just go together. That's why the number one and a half in the number one spot goes to my boy Onyx and my girl Cloyster. Honestly, Onyx and Cloyster speak for themselves, so I don't think we really need to go into any more details about these two. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I know it's something different, but you can go check out the first part over on Ben's channel, and you can check out last week's video in case you missed it. That'll be on the screen now for you to go ahead and check out. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, I'm out. Peace.